Before we answer this question, let's ask ourselves, why do I want to learn digital marketing? Is it to increase sales for my business? Is it to drive traffic to my blog? Is it to sell more products through an e-commerce setup, drop shipping? Is it to drive people to my restaurant, cafe or physical shop, store? Is it to make my business discoverable on Google, or am I an artist who wants their work to be discovered more through my social media handles? Is it to get a job or an internship? Or am I freelancer who wants more projects? The answers to these questions will enable us to pick the right channels to get started with digital marketing. In layman terms, digital marketing gives us the ability to potentially reach billions of people from your room. But there are a lot of channels and aspects to digital marketing and it's really important we understand which channels to focus on to get started? Let me pen down some of the points to get a clearer picture. A very broad classification according to me would be as follows. Organic, where you put in efforts, time and patience in organic, efforts plus time plus money plus patience sometimes to accelerate organic reach digital marketers would use inorganic channels pay for ADs to catalyze the process. The above-mentioned pointers would require a lot of time if we wish to explore them in depth, but let's stick to the question here. A great digital marketing tactic would be to balance out your traffic and ensure multiple channels and not be dependent on just one because you never know what can go wrong. I usually write on Quora to drive a lot of traffic to my startup's website, what if Quora blocks me one day? A friend's business was hugely dependent on the organic reach of Facebook, but with its decreased reach his business is almost shut. What if Google goes down one day? Will your business die? It's very important to have multiple marketing channels to ensure a variety in the audience demographics and to not keep all your eggs in one basket. The egg reminds me of this post which recently broke the record for the most liked post on Instagram beating Kylie Jenner, 18 mil likes. Here's the post. It stands at 33 million and counting and has been covered by all major media websites. All of them. We can see good, innovative concepts and content being shared and appreciated without spending a penny. The power of storytelling at its best. They have a verified account within 10 days of their launch. Now, what did they do with all this traffic and attention? They figured out a way to make money off this. Simple. Basics everyone should be either good at or should know someone who's good at the following. Writing skills, great content presentation through storytelling works every time. Design, never judge a book by its cover may be true, but we always judge what we see on our mobile screens. We need to have a good design sense. Choosing and defining your audience, this is very important and I shall take some examples to explain this a little further. Choosing your audience. Are you a fashion blogger who wants loads of social media followers? You wouldn't post pictures on LinkedIn, would you? Are you selling a luxury tourist package? Would you target kids in the age group of 13 to 18? No, right? Cuz money. Ideally, I'd show my ADs to people in the age group of 25 and above who got married or engaged recently. If I'm a freelancer and I'm looking for projects, I'd ideally choose LinkedIn and Twitter more than Instagram. So before we begin the first baby steps into digital marketing, it's a good idea to know why we'd want to start in the first place. I started exploring various channels in December 2017 and I have been experimenting around with multiple mediums to drive traffic to my startup's website and make more and more people aware of Stone Santa. My why to get started was, to drive more people towards our website and make them aware of our existence which would further lead to us winning them either as a customer or an artist or an intern. Here's a screenshot from 2018's traffic on my website. The tool used, Google Analytics. Good marketing requires a good amount of data which gives you valuable insights about scopes of improvement. Last year average time spent by users on our website was 1 minute and 22 seconds, this year I'd want it to be over 5 minutes. To achieve this we'd need to add more art forms and products on our website, write good blogs. Traffic was 37,000, this year I'd want it to be over 2 lakh. Data is gold and I believe great marketing is always backed by good research and great data. Digital marketing is a skill that comes in very handy and enables you to do so much. So much. 
Find a reason why you want to start digital marketing and you'll find a path to reach that goal.